has been in the works for a while. CNC Drum Company. And I'm really stoked about what they built for me. Uh, he's copying this stuff. There we go. Let's talk about hi-hats. Just got a really great pairing from Sabian, but I'm about to uh, to do something. It's a sound I really like, and uh, I think these are gonna be good. So, I just got some Artisan Light hats, some 15-inch ones, but let's talk about my other hi-hats that I have. It's really... Old K's. This is a very old K. Um, it has rivets in the top. And I just like how you can do so many different things with this thing. Anyways, having the rivets in there, they actually kind of dry that top symbol out. Um, but when you play it with your foot, it gives you a little bit of an extra sound. Makes that uh, makes that sound a little wider. It's like putting um, a chain or some bells on the top of it. You get a little different sound. I actually really love this behind bass players. So we're gonna we're gonna end up putting some rivets in these, but I want to check it out one last time before I do it. Have a little sound file of what they sounded like. I really like these symbols. I'm being quick because this has taken me a couple days to do this, just because I was out of town for gigs. Anyways, I really dig them. I've got some 14 uh, really thin A A hats. And a pair of HHs, oh, really old. But uh, these, I think, are a perfect, um, they get a good blend. I think they'll be really nice with the rivets. start with four. The old Zildjian K has eight. Um, I think that's too many. So let's, uh, let's, let's do this. I mean, first I need this. Then we'll do this. I'm going to do a cross because if we do this, we can then add two more. You can keep adding that. Um, and that is going to give me plenty of areas to play, not on the rivets. Not that it's really going to matter. First thing I want to do is I'm gonna tap a little dent in the symbol where I'm gonna drill uh, because I don't have an amazing, I don't have an amazing drill press like I used to when I worked at the drum shop. We're gonna measure some stuff out. So here's the top, the bottom. I'm just going to measure a little cross in the whole thing. And pencil's cool, it just comes right off. Now, another really great thing to do, and actually if I was doing this for a customer, <laughs> I would actually use a, um, a drum rim. Drum rim is cool because you can get it in like six or eight lugs. 
and you can really you can really do a better job. But this is just for me. And I also know how to use a ruler. Anyways. So I'm going to end up having to speed this up. I'm going to do these in an inch and a half. I used to use a file to clean up the holes. These are actually pretty good because I went really slow. But I have this. I learned this technique when I worked at Maxwell's. This is a countersink. This is what you do to get a hole. So a screw, sorry, you can't see that. You countersink. It makes this like kind of like a triangle kind of thing where a screw would be flush with the wood but it's really sharp okay it's two things you can do this and it just takes any little barb off of there now here's the other thing we can use this to uh basically open up a rivet i don't think i'm going to use those types but anyways Let's talk about rivets. Lots of different kinds of rivets. I mean, this is a rivet. You just attach um, paper with each other. But on a really, really big symbol that you need just a little bit of something, it actually works. It's kind of amazing. So here's some really cool, they're really big, but they're aluminum. But the, So they're super quiet. Just a little bit of extra. Anyways, uh, somebody gave me these. These are what they uh, put pens in people's lugs with. Um, oh, what is that metal called? They're super light, uh, but really strong. All right. So I, because this is a top symbol, I'm going to go with a really, really small rivet that's not too long because it'll hit the other symbol. So this is called a split rivet. So basically you just take this and you split the two sides and they don't fall out the end. So I think I'm gonna use split rivets for now. They're also super easy to get out. Um, the other rivets would be, here's another one. Oh, that actually might be nice because I can cut that off. That's a brass rivet. It's got a hole. And then we would use this and you beat it in there, it cuts the metal and it frays out. I wanna put some on and uh, hear what these symbols sound like because I have a gig tonight. All right, let's see how this sounds. You can't really tell that much of a difference on the video. I should have done like the zoom so you could hear it. Um, I'm really happy with the rivets. I think I'm gonna add two more rivets. Um, and I think that will be the magic number. So uh, this was a long video about those rivets. But hey, next week we're going to talk about this pretty thing right here. And, uh, and actually, you know what, I, a couple of months ago, I got this huge bag of stuff from Keplinger and I've been using the stuff out on the, on the road and we haven't talked about it yet. So we got to do that.